Hey, it's Shelby. I'm here on this cold, blistery autumn, almost winter day in a tank top and shorts because I am about to endeavor into stinging myself with stinging nettle. Um, so I'm going to put some gloves on because I don't want to sting my hands. I want to intentionally sting places like my neck and my knees and my lower back. And I'm doing this because these stinging nettles, they have these needles that they poke into you. And so they inject a poison. Why would I want that? Because within seconds later, it's like, oh no, it was just self-defense. I didn't mean to attack you. Let me give you antihistamines. Let me take care of you here. Feel better. And so I'm going to inflict, <laughs> inflict this upon myself and, um, report back and see how I'm doing. There's not a lot online about this, but I have had interactions with people in real life where they say they have used it on like cysts in their ovaries and such, and they just applied this topically. Um, so I am going to try this because I was in three car accidents in one day on February 4th. So this year, just like eight months ago, not even. And I can't even take an ibuprofen, my body's so sensitive. So I am kind of essential oiled out and <laughs> it's only doing so much because I've built up that resistance. So here we go. Let's bust into my nettles. So these are still fresh. I got these organic stinging nettles from my school's garden just the other day. I got these, ooh, it smells so good. I got these on Wednesday. And today is Saturday, so it's been a few days. They should still be active. Oh, they've got their little stingers on them, I see for sure. Um, see all them little pokies even on the camera? Okay, those are going to inject into me, literally. So here's how I'm going to do it. So we've got pain in the neck, and so we're going to go like that. Ow! <laughs> feeling oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm just gonna need to quickly get through this so I'm gonna do my knees real quick like this oh ha ha oh oh it's surprisingly really painful <laughs> and so I'll be feeling this for um, several hours from when I hear but I should be better like when I say better, I should stop feeling these ouchy, ouchy, itchy, itchy, itchy tingles. Um, it should go away within about. So I've thoroughly stung myself. The shoulders are getting red, and you can really see the redness forming on my knees. I will report back as to how my pain is in a few hours. All just from that little bit and I'm going to now compost that and keep that So it's been about 20 minutes since I have put the stinging nettles on my body. We got them on my neck, up and down the back of my neck, my shoulders, my knees. And at that point I decided I needed to stop. <laughs> um, but what's surprising is the swelling has gotten incredibly large as you just saw, but it's feeling much, much, much better as it gets bigger. Um, my guess, is actually by tonight I should feel like way less pain in my knees than I have but we'll confirm all of this as the day progresses 
Now I am about to do some online exams for school, which is where I've learned all of this awesome info like this. Anyway, um, yeah, stay tuned. So forgot the disclaimer early on. Don't try this at home. I'm not a doctor and am not giving any medical advice nor professional advice. This is simply something I am trying for myself and I'm so happy to say that it is self-worked. So it's been several hours since I've applied the stinging nettles and the swelling has gone away. I've just got like tiny, tiny, tiny little superficial dots you can barely even see anymore. And I had done my neck, my shoulders, and my knees really good. Originally I was gonna do my lower back too, but I got so worried once I started applying it about doing my whole body that I decided let's keep it segmented and I have some that I will use another day. But this is such a miraculous plant. Who? Who knew, you know? I'm so happy that I've just learned this plant in school and I can't wait to just keep using this and show you guys of the progress along the way. I've got a rare type of arthritis in my knees called chondromalacia patella and I, I truly think based off of other people's responses with rheumatoid arthritis being helped by this plant I believe that mine will be too. But I'll keep trying and experimenting on myself and sharing with you all. Anyway, again, don't try this at home. <laughs>